ITPC. Forward smoking pipe city. Happy Saturday to you. Looks like I'm sitting in the shade. Can you see me? Oh, well. My looks are not my best attribute. Some tell me it's my voice, so there you go. Out here building another garden bed. Been hauling sandstone all morning. It's in the afternoon now, I guess about 2 o'clock. About to sit down, have me a pipe. Visit with y'all a little bit. I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. I know a lot of you are stuck at home and needing something to watch. <laughs> oh well. They're actually cutting back a few hours at work. Slow down and coming, they think. Hmm. Wendy got me. But, uh, taking my spare time to build more garden beds so we can grow a little more food. Plus, we're going to put out a patio to put the swing on. Kind of out here in the middle of the garden. Got us an end of the season frost here last week, freeze. Capped off a couple plants. I say a couple, capped off a lot of them. Kind of a uh, small setback, but it is what it is. Got out the uh, old corn cob today. Looks like you can see it up there. I got quite a few of them. I got back into smoking pipes. I bought several corn cobs so I could rotate while I built up my briar. Got a little half and half in it today. Generally, my uh, work tobacco or smoke while I'm doing something tobacco is Carter Hall, but here lately, like I said in the last video, I've really been enjoying half and half. Did, uh, last video I told you that my pH level changed and my palate changed and I was wanting to try some stuff that I tried a long time ago. I did try one and I tried before I started making videos. Went back to John Middleton's cherry. Tried it again. Been avoiding cherries since I started making videos and got back into pipe smoking. But I thought since the change, I might as well try it. Actually, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't over the top cherry and it wasn't goopy like I remember it being. I imagine they changed some of their formula or something. It's actually pretty down the middle smoke, mild. Flavor is low. It's hard to detect the cherry for me. Burns well. I can see it being something I blend with something else. On its own, it don't stand up for me enough to take it as it is, so I'll have to throw it in with something. I'll finish that pouch it 
Tell you what. That had a better uh, presentation before I hit record. So I'll apologize for the video quality. Started out below, well, about 30 degrees this morning. We warmed up real nice. I'm betting it's somewhere in the 60s now. But, oh well. I'm out here in the yard sitting on sandstone rocks I've been hauling all day. Thinking about, got an old uh, hickory tree down out here. It's got some nice wood in it. Thinking about cutting up some, drying it. Making a pipe or two out of it. <laughs> old hardwood pipes, you know, they last a little while. They're not quite as tough as a briar, but... I suppose evolution of a YTPC members at some point you try your hand at making a pipe, right? Whether you buy the hobby block or some of the guys are real good at it. Too many of them to name. I bought a few pipes off Carl. Got some of his, uh, um, it's not pear wood, it's the other one. <coughs> mortar. Yeah, I got a mortar pipe from him. I really like it. I've got a Missouri hardwood, Missouri Mearsham, they're hardwood pipes, a little red one with a bend. It smokes this uh, half and half real well. It seems to fit in it for some reason. Looked like a wasp. I don't know where it went. Hope it keeps on going. Otherwise, you're going to see me jumping around, hooping and hollering. Yeah, if I make those, I think I'm going to choose that block shape, kind of like the customs that custom built at uh, Tom up there Northwest pipe smoker likes low bowl I think I'd like to try one of those I've tried looking them up online I don't ever find them be nice to it be neat to have one in my collection and custom built but if I never do it won't break my heart but I'd like to find me one. Anyway. Just an idea I had. I got the stuff to cut it out and mill it, but Get my shop rearranged. 
there for a long time my boy was doing a lot of tractor and mower repair and things like that some of the cars he got I'll have to get all that sorted through and he's moved off and left me with it <laughs> He got rid of a lot of it though. Blue Jay says hello. spring coming but I don't like the bugs that well <laughs> dang the flies are crazy excuse me a minute I gotta grab something to drink getting dry and scratchy amidst the COVID-19 the economy may slow down the ability to go to work may stop, but allergies don't. It just keeps on rolling. That and I've had the diamond blade out cutting stone today, so I've had dust flying everywhere. Shaping the field. Get them built. Clocked in and it uh, weighed in. 190 pounds this morning. Can't even remember what. Three twenty-seven looked like big. I can remember what my knees felt like. Boy, after an eight-hour day, my knees are killing me. Just about made it down to the end of that pipe. Kind of hoping you did too. Curmudgeon, if you catch this video, sure is nice to hear that your lady is doing better. You're still in our thoughts and prayers, brother. Cane Rod's got a giveaway going tonight, Saturday night. He's got a interesting pipe and a can of small batch, Red Carolina from CND. Got that Perique in it, Virginia Perique. I think he said his experience, it was light on the Perique. Yeah, I didn't get in on that batch. I thought about it. Kind of counting the pennies. 
making sure that there's enough to get everything done in case we have a slowdown. So the first thing I dial back is my hobbies. Pick up new ones. I don't know if you all can see that rock back there or not. I can't hardly see you. Hmm. I was supposed to see my backpack today. Bought a new backpack. I'll tell you that story real quick. It looks like we're going over. I think I told you that <clears throat> where it came from. And I wouldn't have bought it if I'd known that it was over there. Well, it finally made it to the U.S. The first thing it did was landed in New York. Left one hot spot for the other. Think about hanging that sucker in a tree next to two aerosol cans full of uh, Lysol. And popping a hole in both those cans and letting it just fog that thing. That's a joke. <laughs> it just seems funny. Uh, at least to me. Maybe not to you guys. Alright, YTPC. We're at 16 minutes. My pipe's out. My chicken just showed up. The only one I got left. Coyote's got the rest. I'm going to get off here before she starts talking about feed. She swears she's a pet now. Y'all be safe out there. Get out in the yard to do something. Old Ford signing out.